we change time at this time, we take it back, and by June, July, September, we, we, turn we change the time and take it front again. So it's going to be really crazy going back and front with that. But God is faithful. We, we're going to make it in Jesus' name. Amen. So by next Sunday, we, our service is going to move to 11 o'clock in American time, which will take us to uh, 4 p.m. of Nigerian time again, because the, the whole thing is like uh, really, really not... Uh, working for them over there so that's why actually i'm late signing in with i don't like late i hate it and in this the device just of christ one thing that people love about us we're on time when we come on time we take care of business so for today we are so sorry especially all of you that sign in for the first time we are so sorry we don't come late but because of the change of time but we're going to fix it by next sunday is going to be fixed the service in america will, will, will move to 11 11 a.m. and uh, the, then it, it will be 4 p.m. for all of you to sign in. Uh, so thank you so much for being patient. We bless the name of the Lord. Even if we're late or not, we're still going to do what God called us to do. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The song we sang, take glory. Father, in everything we do, take glory, honor, and glory be to his name. Mm -hmm. Now the announcement. Please join us on all our program. Sunday service now is going to start at 11 a.m. U.S. 4 p.m. Nigeria and 3 p.m. Uh, 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 Europe, which is what it was before, but because of the change of time, it's no longer 10. So we're going to keep on saying that so that everybody will get used to it. So it's 11 a.m. now from next Sunday. Our service starts at 11 a.m. Then when they change the time again, we'll go back to 10 a.m. because we're serving two, we're serving countries, nations all over the world. So we can't be like others. We're peculiar. We're classic. We're set apart by God. Amen. So this we do is so peculiar. And so even when we try to do like others, God says, hey, hey, no, 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 no. So we are different people different church different so we we just serve god and serve his people whatever that is good for the people is what we do good for god is what we do we do so god bless you guys as you join this sunday service now every sunday from tomorrow from next sunday 11 a.m us 4 p.m nigeria 3 p.m europe and our tuesday program still stays at 10 a.m. Why? Because I don't do anything with the with the branch in Umutu. It's only Sunday service I do with them. So our Tuesday still remain the same. For uh, 10 a.m. Uh, 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 U.S. 3 p.m. Nigeria and 2 p.m. Europe. Then that is our Bible study on Tuesday, powerful Bible study and prayer, prayer warfare. Then on Friday, authentic talk, y'all, you join us the same time, 10 a.m. U.S. and uh, uh, 3 p.m. Nigeria and 2 p.m. Europe. And this is our announcement and we thank God for everything. And remember, every of our first Sunday, we always do uh, Holy Communion. So, ne so this last, next Sunday coming will be the last Sunday. And remember, oh, we are in Lent season, the holy time, the Lent season where you set apart to pray to God. Every day of our life is Lent season. But this is our Lent season, so everybody should be very careful what you're doing. Be holy and keep on praying and fasting. And don't play with your Lent season in the name of Jesus. And don't forget our last Friday warfare prayer where we pray the old month out like we pray february out we're about to pray the march out every last friday and we usher the new month with great power and strength and joy so that whatever we go through a new month we already back it up with prayer you know the the foundation of uh, of uh, uh, divine suggestions of christ is the word of god is our lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path Prayer is the key and a life of success and love agape. So remember our last Friday, every last Friday at 12 midnight Nigeria, 1 a.m. Uh, Europe, and 7 p.m. U.S. And that is how we roll in this place. God bless you as you join us now, offering time. And uh, take your offering and hold your hand. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We glorify your name. You are worthy to be praised. There's none like you. Thank you, Jesus, for what you give us because you are the giver of everything. 
to the earth is the Lord fullness thereof. Without you, where will, where will I be? Without you, where will everybody online be? So, Father, keep on guiding us and give us the heart to give. Give us the heart to say, Reverend, how do I give to your church? How do I give to the advantages of Christ church for all you do? Father, help somebody, touch somebody's heart to give to the advantages of Christ so that we can give to your people like we give to the less privileged, the widows. We do a lot, but Father, we need offerings because no offering comes in, but because it's in the Bible that we shouldn't come to your house empty-handed. Help your people to understand that, that you have to come to your church with, your, your, your church with uh, full of heart and giving, like the Bible say in uh, uh, Malachi, uh, Malachi 3 times, bring full tight into the house of God and see if you not open a floodgate of heaven for you. So don't come to the service uh, uh, with empty handed and learn how to give your offering. And if you want to give offering, you go to our website, you will see paypal.me slash divine of Christ or cash that app slash erens 0314. So please follow the direction, it's, uh, everything is online. Message us if you don't know what to do. We send you the information how to give to the church of Christ. We are giving, you are giving to people of God and children of God. We're giving, we're givers, we're church that give and we serve the whole nation. So just imagine people that we help with, our, with the offering. But now, this poor lady, I have to do everything I do with my paycheck. So, but God is faithful because I don't look back. Once I pay my bills, I take care of other people. So, Please give and it shall be given unto you. I love a song. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure shaking together and running over, running over. Give, give, give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure shaking together and running over. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure shaking together and running over. God bless you as you give and God bless you as you join. Please don't forget to share, comment, like, and another thing, please turn on your notification. Follow the messages of Christ and turn on your notification on the Facebook so that every time we come online with our three programs on Sunday, on Tuesday, and on Friday, you'll be notified wherever you are. So please do that. Turn on your notification. Go onto our YouTube channel. Subscribe. Everything we do is on our YouTube channel. Subscribe. Everything we do. Go to our website. You know everything about the Church of Christ. So please do accordingly what it is, especially the members of the Divine Soldiers of Christ, the social media crew, congratulations all over the world, wherever you are. God bless you as you join this uh, great uh, online church that you are helping to propagate the gospel of Jesus Christ. Whatever you don't understand, let us know. We're going to help you to excel because we have to do this to to send the word of God to everyone, like Jesus said, that everybody must get the word of God before he comes back. And that is our mission. That is our mandate. And so shall it be. God bless you as you come. God bless you as you join. In Jesus' name. Now the uh, 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 hymn for the preaching. God bless you all. Amen. My God, when I in some wonder, consider all the world thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power through a universe. Dancing my soul, my Savior God to be. How great thou art, how great thou art. Dancing my soul, my Savior God to be. How great thou art. Sweetly in the 
of trees when I look down from lofty mountain gander and hear the brook and feel the gentle breeze dancing my soul Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible said, train up your child. Uh, uh, because after you train him, he will not depart for what you train him. Uh, I just remember that song, that great hymn of that great man of God that, uh, that sing that hymn. Oh Lord my God, how great thou art. I love that hymn because that hymn is a hymn that I don't know. Sometimes people take things for granted. You know, I love that last, last verse. He said, when Christ shall come with shout of an exclamation and take me home, what joy shall fill my heart, y'all? And then I shall bow in humble 
adoration and dear proclaim my God how great how great how great the heart then sing my soul oh Kalebosa Lata sing my soul oh God great how great how great thou art how great how great thou art Amen. hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah how great thou art oh Lord how great is your name we came to worship you this morning I don't care how we look like or what we're going to God give us the spirit of worship to bless your holy name Amen. and clap your hands because the living only the living can worship the Lord somebody Amen. Hey, all over the world wherever you are online or social media come on shout hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 share comment and notify sign the notification so that you will understand and follow our program in Jesus name Amen. now the word of God somebody shout hallelujah hallelujah thank you Jesus for the word of God the food of your church the vice of Christ the word of God that is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Everyone all over the world, oh Lord, that is watching right now, that will watch later, open our ears spiritually to hear you. And God went to a heart, every hardened heart, like hardened heart of Pharaoh, turn that heart to heart of flesh and spiritual heart for them to hear your word. Let your word dig into that rock of heart and turn it to a heart that can understand. And, and your, when I plant that seed, oh God, when you water it, they will grow and use your word to do marvelous things in this world in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, help us to propagate your word, help us evangelize and yeah. spread it gospel of Jesus Christ. Everyone online, help them to learn how to share, comment, like, and just share the way they share all that worldly things. Let them know how to share. Father, help me. Your clothes, your servant. Oh God, you sent me to do this and I'm not ashamed. So when I stand here, don't put me to shame, but cover me with your blood. That after all said and done, you will gain the glory. Amen. You will gain the glory. Amen. Because I love the song that you said, nobody will share your glory. Nobody, absolutely. So gain the glory on this service in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Somebody amen. shout hallelujah. I say amen. Hallelujah. And before I continue, I just want to make a good announcement. If somebody online, please, if you can type this. Because of the change of time in America, we are moving the service because I tried to work it out today, it didn't work out. That's why I was we we're late. I was on with the service on Umutu, uh, Nigeria branch, and uh, I, because of the change of time, I can't meet up with this, being with them. So from next Sunday, our service is moving to 11 a.m. U.S. and uh, till 4 p.m. Nigeria and 3 p.m. Europe. So please, somebody should make a note of that. We're going to send out notification and everything. And if you have not turned on your notification, please turn your notification on so that you get all our program where we're live to be notified. But as you're there, share, comment, like, because God will reward you. Now our Bible, our Bible uh, topic for the reading today. Um, Ezekiel chapter 13 verse it's a chapter 37 verse 13 and they read thusly wow. mm -mm. and the bible taught the bible read thusly that uh, in that chapter 37 that is where they talked about the dry bone and please when you get home try to read that so this vision, the vision in that 37, illustrates the promise of the chapter 36 and their brand new, the new chapters. And when we talk, when Ezekiel, in the book of Ezekiel, you find out that the, that was where God spoke to Ezekiel. And Ezekiel did a good job on believing God and having faith in God. In that place we, somebody hold on a second. I'm sorry for the inconveniences. So the vision illustrates the promise of the chapter 36 and new life and the nation restored. 
both physically and spiritually. The dry bones are a picture of the Jews and uh, a captive uh, scattered and dead. The two sticks of, uh, uh, in that place represent the reunion of the entire nation of Israel that had divided into a northern and southern kingdoms uh, after Solomon. The scattered exile and both Israel and Judah will, will be released from grave of captivity. And uh, if you, you're going to ask me what is my topic. My topic today will be receive God's spirit and leave. When you receive God's spirit, you will leave. Amen. Without God's spirit, none of us can leave. We're living today because of God's spirit. Amen. So this, uh, the two sticks in that, that chapter 37 verse 15, 17 represent the reunion of the entire nation of Israel that had divided into the northern and the southern kingdoms after Solomon. The scattered exiles, both Israel and Ju uh, Judah, will be released from the graves. I don't know what graves are you, my brothers and sisters. I am proclaiming and declaring upon the name of the Lord today. I stand in the word of God, which is my rock of ages. And I declare that as God uh, have released the Israel from their grave, uh, from their grave of captivity, that God will release you from every grave you are today in the name of Jesus. Amen. All over the world, they said that God release them from the grave of captivity. Amen. Everything that's captivity, everything that, uh, that you are in captivity, everything that you have been, every struggle that is holding you captivity in the name of Jesus you are released in Jesus name Amen. the captivity of grave or captivity and one day regather in their homeland with the Messiah as the leader every two we're going through one day one day the Messiah is going to come as a leader of our life which is Jesus Christ this vision has yet to be fulfilled Ezekiel felt he was speaking to the dead as uh, as, be, as he promised to to exile because they really responded to his message. They did not respond to his message. So he thought he was speaking to dead people. You know how you talk to someone, you keep on saying the same thing over and over again. The person will not listen. The people will not listen. That's exactly what Ezekiel was going through. He just speaking to them. They don't have repentance. They don't have remorse. The poor man is just speaking. So he just talks like the Bible said. He thought he was speaking to dead people. Because they're not responding to his message. And when you give a message and nobody's responding, it's very discouraging. But these bones responded. And just as God brought life to the dead bones, he will bring life again to his uh, spiritual dead people in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't care what you are going through in your life, your spiritual life, your life, everything about your life. As God brings life and restore and raise those dead dry bones every dry bone of your life everywhere you are not spiritually endowed god will get god will god will bring your life back in the name of jesus amen god will bring the life back in your dry bone in the name of jesus amen and god will raise you the dry bones represented the people's spiritual dead condition when your spiritual life is dead that is what the uh, Ezekiel 37 is talking about that means when your spiritual your, your spiritual life is dead that is the dry bone we're talking about God will bring every of your dry bone and make it alive your dry bone will rise again your dry bone will rise again Amen. your financial dry bone will rise again Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ I declare and I decree that your married dry bone will rise again Amen. your children not at the well dry bone will rise again Amen. your husband not at the well will rise again in the name of Jesus your wife not at the well will rise again. Amen. Everything in your life, even your job, your career, that is dead spiritually, God will rise it again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because as he does it in the Bible, he will do it again as if he had done it before. He will do it again Amen. and again and again in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your church may seem like a heap of dry bones to you. Your home may seem like a heap of dry bones to you. Your finance may seem like a heap of dry bone to you. Your children, everything that you put your hand, your business, your contract, everything, your marriage will seem like a dry bone to you, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. But I tell you, I tell you, 
spiritually dead with no hope of vicinity. Oh, you, you, you don't understand when your life or church it seems like it's a heap of dry bone to you. Spiritually dead with no hope, no hope, no vicinity, hopeless. But I tell you, I came and have a good news. A preacher preaching that said, but God, Amen. every time you see a boat, a conjunction called but, B-U-T or if, you know God is about to do miracle. Amen. Everything that feels dead in you, I come today because but just as God promised to restore his nation, God will restore this nation in Jesus' name. Amen. God will restore us in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will restore that heap of uh, uh, that uh, heap of the dry bone of your financial situation in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will restore that heap bone of your children not at well in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Of marriage not at it well. Father, in the name of God, we restore your marriage. Amen. God, you restore your children, y'all. Yeah. God, you restore your life. Amen. God, you restore your ministry. God, you restore your church. God, you restore your job in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible said God restore his nation. He can restore any church. God can restore any church, any home, any family, any church. God will restore everything in your life, no matter how dry or dead it may look like, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Don't give up on God. No matter how hopeless your life is, is. I don't care how hopeless your life is. Amen. God will restore your life in Amen. Jesus. Amen. I know about that God. No matter how dry, no matter how dry bone, no matter how dead people say you can't make it. People say who are you? Remember the same people their mouth, the mouth, the mouth that say is there any good things that come out of Nazareth? Caleb or Salatay? Hallelujah. They said is there any good thing that come out of Nazareth? The same people saw Jesus come out of Nazareth. They looked down on him. They beat him up. But they didn't know that when they were beating him up, he was swallowing my sin. He was swallowing your sin. Amen. He was swallowing your sin. Amen. He was swallowing your sin. Amen. He was swallowing everything you are going through, all your dry bone of your life. Jesus was swallowing it on the cross of Calvary. He was dying Amen. with all joy because he's a sinless man who died sinful man. For you, for you, for you in Jesus' name. Oh, I tell you the truth. You got to believe him. He's a good God. I don't know how to talk about him. But rather, when you see your life that nothing is going well, I want to encourage you not to give up on God. No matter how things are going, don't give up on God. Rather than giving up, pray for renewal. Amen, somebody. Amen. Rather than giving up, pray for renewal of your life. For God can restore it to your life, anything you are looking for. Mm -hmm. Unless you don't believe in God. Unless your hand is somewhere, your other hand is somewhere, your heart is in another place. But I tell you, when you believe in God and focus on God and call only Him, cry to Him, laugh with Him, He will show up at His own time. Amen. I sent that to money coffee yesterday. I said, wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. It takes faith to wait on the Lord. So rather than giving up, pray for renewal for God can restore it to life. Amen. The hope and prayer of every church, every home, every husband, Every children should be that God will put his spirit into us in Jesus' name. Amen. Like my topic will say, you need it when you have God's spirit, you can live. And that life is not a normal life, a life of abundant life. Amen. You know, the Bible says Satan come to steal, kill, and destroy. Amen. But God come to give us abundant life. So I don't care whatever you are going through in your life. That thing that is so pleasant. Pray and get it renewed because God can renew your church. Amen. God can renew your prayer life. Amen. God can Amen. renew your children. Amen. God can renew your marriage. Amen. God can renew your finance. God can renew your job. I don't care whether you are lack of job. You don't have God can make a possibility possible Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. In fact, in uh, chapter 14, verse 37, Ezekiel 37, he fact God is at work calling his people back to himself. Right now in our life, God is calling all of us back to himself. Amen. Bringing new life into dead churches. Bringing new life into dead homes. Amen. Bringing new life into spiritual dead. Amen. Into personal life that is a dead. God 
is bringing new life. That's why he set up this church. Said, go and serve my people online. All over the world, John. Go and serve my people, the messengers of Christ Nation Church. Amen. Soldiers don't go to war without the word of God. Soldiers don't go to war Amen. without uh, their Bible. They're, they're, they're gone and their cutlass. So I don't know about you, Christians. Our Bible is our gun. Our Bible, the word of God, is our gun. Amen. So don't forget it. Amen. Whatever you do, put your face in the book. Amen. Put your face in the book. Amen. Don't go Facebook all the time. Every time you buy your data, put your face in the book, man. Because I tell you, I tell you, when you spend your data to come on the service of the Messiah of Christ, God will restore your money. Amen. God will restore your data. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, in fact, God is at work calling all of us back home, sinful back home, sinners come back home, to himself bringing new life into dead churches, into dead marriages, into dead home, into dead person, into dead finance, into dead career, into dead destiny. God is calling up and bringing new life into our life. God promised the Ezra in Babylonia that he will continue to be with them, even though they were not in Jerusalem. This was a major concern, my brothers and sisters, to the Jews because they believed that God was present primarily in the temple. Mm -hmm. They don't believe that God is not present everywhere because they don't believe in the Spirit, Holy Spirit, which is the comforter that follows us everywhere. But God assured them that He will, He will continue to be their God regardless of where they were in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I don't care where you are. I don't care your situation. Whatever you go through, God is in that true. In your suffering time, God is in it. In your crying time, God is in it. Amen. In your laughing time, God is in it. Amen. When things are not working for you, my brothers and sisters, God is still in it. Amen. In the midst of Ezekiel's burning message of judgment stands a call or says, God promised to restore the faithful few to their homeland. And as we're going through life now, God is promising the faithful true to our homeland. God's hand are now open to receive all those who will repent in their sin. Amen. The Bible says repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. I tell you my brother in reference to this Old Testament. The Old Testament, the New Testament fulfilled the Old Testament. Amen. Romans 8, 5 said Paul divided people into two categories. Those who let themselves be controlled by their sinful nature and those who follow after the Holy Spirit. Amen. All of us will be the first categories. If Jesus had not offered us a way out of sin, a way out of pain, once we have said yes to Jesus, we will want to continue following him because Amen. his way brings life and peace. Amen. Daily we must consciously choose him to center our lives on God. Amen. Whether we like it or not, use the Bible to discover go guidelines. Go into your Bible. The Bible use it to discover guidelines and then follow them in every perplexing, perplexing situation, in every complicated situation, in every struggle that you go through. Ask yourself, what will Jesus do? Amen. What will Jesus want me to Amen. do? Amen. In everything you are going through, my brothers and sisters, right now, don't go crying and doing this, but stand up and chest up like a soldier and ask yourself, what will Jesus want me to do Amen. in this situation? When the Holy Spirit points out what is right to do, my brothers and sisters, do it eagerly. Amen. I tell you, do it eagerly because you never know. Have you ever worried about whether or not you are really a Christian? Have you ever worried whether or not you are really uh, a Christian? A Christian is anyone who has the Spirit of God in him, living in him or her. Amen, Amen somebody. Ha and that is our title. If the Holy Spirit don't live in you, 
There's no way you can live a good life because the Holy Spirit director is our comforter, is our director. So if you know, if you have sincerely trusted Christ for your salvation and acknowledge him as your Lord, then the Holy Spirit has come into your life and you are a Christian. Amen, Amen. somebody. Amen. You are a believer. Amen, somebody. Amen. Your, the, the, the Holy Spirit, you will not know that the Holy Spirit has come if you are waiting for a certain feeling. Holy Spirit don't make you have a certain feelings or you will know he has come because Jesus promised he will and how you know that Holy Spirit has come and how you take Holy Spirit is by faith y'all my brothers and sisters by faith that is the only way you will believe that Jesus Christ is God the son that eternal life will come through him you will begin to act as Christ directs you when you know Jesus Christ you will find help in your daily problems in your in your prayer life in your christian life in everything you do you will be empowered you will be empowered to serve god amen. and do his will amen according to art i'm telling you and you will become part of god's plan to build up his church i tell you god almighty is faithful when you see god god will help you when you planning stuff the village of of better was located about two miles east of Jerusalem in John chapter 1 Amen. on the road of Jericho it was near enough to Jerusalem for Jesus and disciples to be danger but I tell you the truth my brothers and my sisters don't let anything you are going through to wear you down Amen. Amen. If you don't hear anything I said today don't let anything that we, that you are going through to wear you down because the Spirit of God live in you, live in me, live in everyone online today. Amen. We direct us in Jesus' name. Amen. If there you say, yes, I receive God as my Lord and Savior, the Spirit of God coming to you. Activate it. You cannot activate anything. If you don't plug the fridge, the fridge will not work. If you don't plug the microwave, the microwave will not work. If you don't turn this light on, the light will not work. The same way you have to turn and activate the Holy Spirit in you. Hallelujah. And how do you do that? Work on your prayer life. Work on your reading your word. Lord, work on your listening to the word of God from the right churches who preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, the authentic gospel of Jesus Christ, who bring the word of God raw like we bring it to you. So I tell you, my brother, my topic today, like I said before, my topic today is be put the spirit of god receive god's spirit and you shall live anywhere that you are going through whatever you are going through in your life i declare and i decree to all over the world all nation that we serve receive god's spirit and you will live amen. receive amen. god's spirit receive god's spirit hallelujah. and live amen your children will receive god's spirit hallelujah amen your home will receive god's spirit amen and live. amen your finance will receive god's amen. spirit everything that you do will receive god's spirit god will direct your home god will direct your path god will teach you how you want you to live in this sinful world so that you will be peculiar human being like he said you will be choosing generation you will be set apart you will be classic you cannot be in a clique you cannot i tell people if i have to be a lonely ranger to be in this word of god carrying his word of god that's a love i will so please if you don't hear what i said let god help your prayer life and God, my brothers and sisters, learn how to put your face in the book. Your face in the book. Amen. The face in the book. And make the word of God a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. And make prayer your key. Prayer is the key. Without prayer, you are, in, you are nothing. So those dry bones that Ezekiel was talking about, don't dry bone that Ezekiel was telling they are dead. All those dead things he's saying is when he's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Nobody was responding. Ezekiel got discouraged. And as he was tired, you know how it is. When you go through some stuff for days, weeks, years, months. And you say, God, where are you? God, why me? My question to you, my brothers and sisters. 
Brethren, a child of God, why not you? Amen. Why I started saying, why not you? Amen. So I don't care what you are going through today. You might be going through it because God loves you so much. God is saying, do you still love me in the midst of this? And when Ezekiel was about to give up, here come God say, Ezekiel, my son, can you speak to the bone? He said, what do you mean? He said, speak to them and breathe on them. And when they said, if you want me to do that, I will do that by faith. Ezekiel did. And when he speak to the bones, according to the Bible, the joiners have crack up and start and be the soldiers. The soldiers of Israel. And we are the soldiers of this world. Amen. The vice soldiers of Christ's nation is the soldiers of this world. Amen. We come to proclaim the gospel, authentic gospel of Jesus Christ. Not the shame of the gospel of Jesus Christ, but that's what keeps us going. Yeah. So wherever you are, don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Yeah. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Yeah. Be happy, my brothers and sisters. Because I tell you, there's nothing impossible where God is. With God, all things are possible. And John, let me understand we can do absolutely nothing without Christ. So if, if anything you are going through, you shall be asking, say, what would I do, Reverend, to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior? Amen. And I tell you, my brothers and sisters, nothing else but to run and put your hand on the gadget you are using, nothing else. And just say these prayers with me. Dear Heavenly Father, Thank you for dying. Thank you for dying for on the cross of Calvary for my sin. Please, God, forgive me and come into my life. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And now help me, God, to live. Help me, Jesus Christ, to live for you the rest of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. And after you do that prayer with all your heart, we receive you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, you have joined the kingdom of God. God bless you as you are coming in. And after that, all the people all over the world that want to join Divine Soldiers of Christ Nation Church, we need your skills, we need your gift, we need the things that God gives you. If He's only clapping your hands online and just clicking that, if He's only sharing, and commenting and telling your people, let's go like the woman of Samarit Samaritan woman who let's go to say, come and see what this man said to me. That's one song that says, come and see, oh, come and see. Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see. So that woman said, come. And the Bible said he was a very the greatest evangelist woman. So my brothers and sisters, I don't know, you can be that evangelist man or woman. In online, you don't even need to leave your comfort home. We bring church to you. So come on, join the Vangelists of Christ. Come on, come on, come on, come on, join the Vangelists of Christ right now. Message us in our Facebook Messenger. Go to our website and fill out a form of membership and you will be received. You don't have to burn your data. We call you. We take care of you. God will help us to finance us to take care of you. So you don't have to say, oh, how am I going to get to them? We are one phone call you can reach us one click you reach us so all the social media you can dm us in every way you can do such so all our social media and you will reach us so please join us join the ventures of christ we need your talent we need your gift in the name of jesus come on somebody shout hello hallelujah so your hand as they are coming every members are coming people online people online to take your names just said I want to be a member, give us your information and we'll go from there, we'll keep in touch with you, whatever you're going through you're not alone anymore because you have a family in the kingdom of God, we are all family like our benediction, now after that if you want a special prayer now we can pray, a lot of us need prayer but a lot of us need special prayer so pray with me, Father in the name of Jesus, your brother, your sons and daughters, all over the world your people need prayer, everybody is having a bond a burning heart of something they need, something that makes them shed tears, something that makes them don't know what to do, something that confusing them, something that giving them struggling, ask, something that giving them sleepless night. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Whatever it is, that dry bone, that dead thing, that heap of dead thing in their life, 
Father, I said their dry bone will rise again in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare and I decree their dry bone will rise again in the name of Jesus. Somebody amen. say, Amen. And every heap of dead thing in their life, Father, raise it in Jesus' name. Let the life, let the spirit go in them and let them live. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. let them live in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, send your comforter, send your spirit of God, and uh, let their spiritual life rise up today, and let their prayer life light up their prayer altar. Let them know how to pray and read your word in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. We thank God. You guys don't have a man to say amen. amen. It's God will thank amen. God for everything God is doing. Some, sometimes God will do stuff for us. We are alive. Our mouth is open to worship him and say amen. We can't even say that. And a lot of us online cannot even type or, or, or even comment or even share because we are so ungrateful. That's why God said it's, we are ungrateful generation. The stiff neckers. May God don't let me be ungrateful in Jesus' name. Amen. And may God don't let the rock praise God in my place in the name of Jesus. Amen. I will praise the Lord all the days of my life and his presence will continue to be on my mouth Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. I praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. And now we are done with our service today. Like I said, our benediction, I love it because he sing this, does sing. We are hands of the Father, we are joy hands with the Son, with the Son, we are children of God's kingdom, we are family, we are family, we are one, we are family, we are family, we are one, families of God, we are family. We are one. Give us the song, Christ. We, we are, are family. family. We, we are, are one. one. We are family. Yes, we are family. We are one. We are all family all over the world, all nations that we serve. We are family. And all of you that receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. All of you that joined the Vanceas of Christ, congratulations. I'm so happy for you. And now we'll finish. I will say I love you, but God loves you more. Visual hug, my brothers and sisters. I love you all. Visual hug, visual hug. And God bless you. Don't forget to join our programs on Tuesday at 10 a.m. U.S., 3 p.m. Nigeria, and 2, and 2 p.m. Europe. On Friday, 2, 10 p.m. Authentic Talk. On Tuesday is our Bible study, powerful Bible study. And on Friday is Authentic Talk where we discuss hot topics. We're dealing with mar marriage and communication now. It's on 10 a.m. U.S., 4 p.m. Nigeria, and Europe, 2 p.m. And our last Friday of every month, don't forget to join us on the Big Power Prayer Warfare at 12 midnight, Nigeria, 7 p.m. Uh, U.S. and uh, Europe, 1 a.m. So God bless you. I love you. God bless you. Bye now. Bye now.